So, I heard you like Burning Abyss support. Because they totally need some more support. More support for the top deck. You got to keep giving it to them, Konami. You got to give the people what they want. <sighs> Alright. So, once again, Burning Abyss got more freaking support. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. This deck is already the best deck of the format. It doesn't need anything else. And it keeps on getting shit. Re fucking ridiculous. Hello? So, uh, we got three more Burning Abyss monster, and we know the effect of the Ritual spell for uh, Malakota. So, we're gonna go ahead and uh, spend the next two weeks of card review looking at these uh, Burning Abyss cards, giving them every single, uh, all the time that they deserve to go ahead and look at, and uh, make sure that uh, we know what we're in for with the Burning Abyss, because god, that deck is already strong enough. Anyway, today we are looking at Farfa? Farfa, interesting. Interesting name there, alright. This is uh, Farfa, Malbranch of the Burning Abyss. So, uh, Farfa is a Dark Fiend effect, level 3, of course. Its stats are 1000 attack, 1900 defense. Not bad defense. That's a, that's a pretty nice booty, you know? Uh, you know, it's right under uh, Skarm and Rubric when it comes to booty. And, you know, sometimes a Burning Abyss player, and they don't do so hot, they'll go ahead and uh, set, so, you know, it's nice that this person can go ahead and be set, so, nice booty, nice booty, nice booty. Anyway, let's go ahead and go over effect, so, same old burning bis effect, blah, 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 control monster not burning bis, destroy this card, blah, 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 uh, you can only use one of the following effects, only once per turn, so it does have effects, it's not like just rubric, alright, first effect, you control no spells and traps, you can special this card from hand, blah, 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 it's own individual effect, let's go over that, because that's what you guys came here for, right? If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one monster on the field, banish it until the end phase. Whew, that's good. That is good. Like, that is what they wanted freaking last set. Like, no. What they have, what they got in this, the la this set? Mm-mm, mm-mm. I mean, Rubric? Rubric's kind of bad. Like, besides going into, besides the only monster that allows you to go into, uh, into Virgil like that, uh, uh, he's not that good. He has no effect. Duh. Uh, uh, cow cam. Mm -hmm. You know? Bouncing a set spell or trap back to the hand. Ooh. No, not really. Alright. And, uh, at a lich. Uh, you know, what? As, like, a break the skill? And I could just play break the skill, you know? But Farfa, like, that. That is really good. That's really good. Alright, so, of course, Daily Duels. I play Burning Abyss. One of the problems with Burning Abyss is they have a problem with authority figures. You know? And... If I don't have the right background for the situation and my opponent can summon something stronger than 25, I'm hurting. I'm hurting. I, it's, I, I can't. I can't. You know, Dante is my best choice. I, you know, I have some cards for, you know, I'm the reason for the season. But sometimes, you know, it's difficult. You know, it's hard to just kind of, you know, get around that. And, you know, I can definitely take down life points, but that monster is in my way. I can't get the kill, you know? You know, there's a reason why uh, Burning Abyss players play Nightmare Shark for that, bam, that last 2,000. Just skim off that last 2,000 for game. This guy can pretty much allow you to do the same exact thing, except with Dante instead. So, you go ahead, when he's sent to the graveyard, you can target any monster on the field and banish it. Then I should get off the field, come back during the end phase, that's fine. But if I can end this duel right now, then I'm going to end this duel right now, right? So, definitely, definitely such a powerful effect. And keep in mind, it says you can target one monster on the field, period. Either side of the field. So, playing Burning Abyss, uh, definitely one of the problems that you have is that you, of course, play Mathematician, because Mathematician helps you with the consistency. But your deck is very, very hindered if your opponent doesn't take out the Mathematician. You know, your mathematician's kind of just sitting there, chilling on the field, being like, oh, well, you know, I don't know what to do. I'm I'm here. They're not killing me. I would like to die and allow you to draw a card, but they're not killing me. All your Burning Abyss monsters, they can't even do anything because, you know, I'm not a Burning Abyss. I'm not, you know, mathematician now, but I'm just a Burning Abyss now, am I? He's like, no, you're not mathematician, but you're so good in the deck. Just being able to go ahead and send Skarm and get you that Tory Got Search early game uh, just helps with the consistency of the deck. But, uh, you know, sometimes they don't kill that mathematician, and it hurts. You know, it definitely hurts, because, you know, unless you have Tour Guide going on, you know, you can't you can't summon any other Burning Abyss monsters, because their effects wouldn't be negated, they would just die. So, you know, this guy, you know, you can, you can if you want to, go ahead and banish your own mathematician until the end phase. Just open up enough time for you to maybe special summon a Burning Abyss, normal summon a Burning Abyss, XC into Dante. And then when, uh, you know, mathematician comes back, You'll have a Dante, and Dante's not affected. So, you know, that's not bad. But, of course, you know, 
uh, banishing, opening up uh, for the end of the game, banishing your own monsters to, you know, allow your field to be clear for from non-burning of its monsters, and then come back to the end phase. And, uh, of course, you know, going ahead and banishing, uh, you know, pesky XC monsters, you know? If you got an XC monster that's getting on your merge with some materials, you go ahead and banish it, and it comes back, bam, no materials, you know? If you got a pesky Utopia that keeps on blocking your attacks, you can just be like, all right, send Farfa, get banished, Utopia's gonna come back, no materials. So, you know, that's another play that you can go ahead and do. So, uh, you know, uh, and keep in mind, if you think that you're gonna go ahead and, like, you know, Farfa banish something and then flip up vanities and you're like, oh, well, it's not going to come back. No, it, it comes back. It it returns to the field. It's the same thing with, uh, you know, Evil Swarm Thunderbird and uh, Wonder Rabbit. They don't special summon to the field. They return to the field. So that's the reason why when, you know, if you, you know, if you're playing those two cards and they return to the field during your standby phase, you can still activate Pot because they return to the field. So the monster will just return to the field. It's not special summon back to the field. It's just like, hey, I'm back. What happened? Oh, wait, the duel was over? What? Burning Mist guy took you out? I was gone? I wasn't here to protect you? Damn, what happened? Like, definitely, definitely a 3 up. Like, that's a given. Like, Farfa is so good, you know? You know, I, especially when, I, I, when I'm when i playing Burning Abyss on, uh, on uh, daily duels, you know? I run, I think I run two rubrics, but, you know, if if rubric didn't allow me to go into Virgil, I, I would, you wouldn't, you wouldn't run it, right? You know, if, if straight up, straight up, tell me the truth. If Virgil, uh, yeah, if Virgil never existed, but Rubric did, and he had no effect, but he allowed you to go into, you know, Synchro, so I'd be like, hey, you can go into Goyo Guardian, yeah, you know, you'd be like, no, no thank you, I'm good, no, that's not what I want, you know, you would, you would tell hell no, so the only reason why you're on Rubric is for Virgil. Virgil is good spot removal, he's great spot removal, you know, he, he, he spins something back to the deck, that's great. Farfa is also spot removal, and definitely, definitely a three of, you know. So just when you thought maybe you could go ahead and you know sit on a, a monster against Burning Abyss and win, I don't think so. And that sucks because in my uh, in my uh, when I went to a YCS Anaheim, I did duel against a Burning Abyss player, and actually I was main decking Kaiser, and I and I was main decking Kaiser because I was like, well, you need to have more than one on the field to do anything. So I'll summon an Ophion. And I'll play Kaiser, and I'll sit on it, you know, and you can't do shit, you know. Now they can. They can go ahead and just send a Farfa, banish my Ophion, which means that if I had any materials left, they would be gone when I come back to phase. My field is open, they're free from my Kaiser. So, definitely, definitely, Farfa is definitely going to be played, just for that simple spot removal. Just to, just to pry open the field to allow you to go for game or go for damage or uh, get around problems, you know. Just, you know, just get out of my way, you know. You're going against Bujin bitches. They summon Yamato. They add a crane and drop a freaking hair. Farfa, get out of my way. Move. Hit you. Yeah. So, I definitely say that Farfa is definitely going to be a 3 of. Definitely, definitely a great burning abyss. So, tell me what you guys think about Farfa in the comment section below. And, of course, tell me what you guys think about burning abyss. Getting more uh, support in general. Like I said, they didn't get hit at all on the ban list. They are at 100%. They're at 200%. They are just the best, you know? So, uh, it's great to see that the best decks are getting more support, you know? Even when Dragon Rulers, when Dragon Rulers just came out all in one big old wave, it's not like, oh, we get the big Dragon Rulers now, and we get the baby Dragon Rulers later, and then we get this, and we get this, and we get this for the Dragon Rulers. No, it was just like, bam, Dragon Rulers. Oh, this deck is the tits? Oh, we didn't expect that, you know? This, the Burning Abyss is the tits. Konami knows it's the tits. They wanted the tits. They wanted the money. Because clearly, set after set after set after set after set. Money, 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 money. It's, it's, and it's just TCG, you know? I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if, if Burning Abyss was an OCG, I wonder how it would be. You know, because that's a totally different ball game over there. You know, they're more aggressive and stuff. You know, they got triple macro and triple D fissure and triple soul drain. So, you know, maybe Burning Abyss wouldn't be doing as well. But here, in TCG land... This deck, it's too good. It floats monster-wise, and it one-ups you back row rise, you're going to run out of resources. And that's exactly how they'll beat you. You know? On paper, their plays aren't that scary. You know, their monsters are not that scary. But, you know, eventually, it's a grind game. Eventually, it's going to grind you out until you have no more materials. Like, through Phoenix Windward Blast and Karmic Cuts for Geki Breaks. You know? 
and uh, you know the strengths of Dante's and the burning abyss, ranking up into Pleiades, going into Virgil, the, the Fire Lake. You know, eventually the deck will just out resource you, and that's clearly how it beats you. And this card is just another card in the arsenal to eventually uh, pry open a, a hole and take you down. You know, you think that's your safe hiding behind that marshmallow? No. No, like, oh, I can hide behind this Marshmallow. He has no Karma Cuts, he has no Rejection Breaks, he has no uh, Phoenix Wind Wind Blast, he doesn't even have the Fire. Like, oh, I'm safe. Uh, all right, summon Dante. Dante, you know, go ahead and detach up. Uh, mill three. Oh, look, Farfa, Farfa, get that fucking shit out of my face. Bam, 25, game. So, yeah. All right, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. But thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys on Thursday with another. Burning Abyss card, like I said, there's going to be two weeks. So Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday. Four cards, going to be looking at all of them. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.